ladies and gentlemen, so sorry to see that hurt happen to uh, Curtis Cameron there in his debut. The game of iron arms sometimes bites you and unlucky for Curtis tonight. We know he'll be back stronger and wish him all the best at East versus West. We move on with tonight's competition and we move to the over 80 kilograms ladies open weight division on the right arm. Ladies and gentlemen, the first of our athletes is a young phenom from Slovakia. She is a Slovakian national champion and also the open weight WAF champion of the world. Please welcome Barbara Bajikova. Barbara Bajikova from Slovakia, 22 years old is the reigning super heavyweight champion of the world on a female arm wrestling classes. Just so impressive. We saw her in a press conference being super humble and so nice. It's ridiculous. Like Gabby tried to be mean to her and it's pretty much impossible. Right now, this is the match to figure out who is the GOAT. Ladies and gentlemen, her opponent needs no introduction anywhere in the world of arm wrestling. And is arguably one of the greatest arm wrestlers in the female division of all time. Her accolades are extraordinary. She is a multiple and reigning Brazilian national champion. She is also a multiple and reigning WAF champion of the world representing the great arm wrestling nation of Brazil. Please welcome Gabriela, Iron Angel, Vasconcelos. The reigning 80 kilo plus East versus West champion, Gabriela Vasconcelos. I said this match is to figure out who is the GOAT. This is to figure out who is the best arm wrestler in female classes right now on the planet in open weight. Gabi is the GOAT, we know that. And if she wins this match, at this point there's no challenges. There's a lot of pressure on her. She is the smaller puller in this one, facing Barbora Bajcova from Slovakia, Brazil. Versus, and you can see it on table right there. Travis, are you excited? Hey, not only is excited, but listen, let's just be completely honest. Gabby must win and dominate this match. If not, the clock is ticking. At 22 years old, the size, the poise, the absolute dominant appearance of Barbara shows that, listen, the clock's tipping for Gabby. The clock's ticking right now. Either you handle your business and set this back a couple years that we don't even want to see it, because anything close will have this rematch right away, and we'll, it won't be long before Barbara is, in fact, um, the number one rated champion. We're just wondering, is it right now? And I just grabbed her and I'll tell you, Coach, I would be in a war with Barbara right now. <laughs> I felt it before this match started, before this Damn. event started. Gabi is the reigning 90 kilo world champ. Barbara, 90 kilo plus, weighing in 125 kilos. Gabi, 93 kilos. This is huge advantage. We talked like Barbara has the same, pretty much the stature as Dave Chafee. That's insane. And let's see, this pretty much is for the number one female puller on the planet. There's no one else left. These are the two of the strongest girls on this planet. Let's see who can take this match. Of course, I believe like the height advantage will give a huge advantage for Barbora if she goes for a top roll. How many a men is is she arm wrestling at a point where her elbow in the connection is straight up in the air? We're gonna see Bar with Gabby have to come way away from her body and down for that webbing to line up. I can only imagine that Gabby's hoping that the distance between her hand and chest will help. And you can see it now. Barbar looks pretty far away at the start. Let's see. I like I talked with Gabby. Gabby believes the that wrist press is the way to go. He has, she has so much side pressure. She showed it in the last match versus Egle. Let's see if that happens right here. Do we go for a strap? Ooh, we saw Barbora going for that top roll. 
very comfortably. We saw a horrible leverage advantage uh, for Moore Moore as well. Uh, right? You can yeah. see Gabby, you Gabby can't. You need this trap. Gabby you need this yeah. trap. Gabby needs to wrist curl and suck her in. This thing standing in the middle of the table looks like uh, a I don't huge believe you advantage. Can risk curl that. I don't believe you can risk curl that. And Gabby gets, what do we call? It's a strap. You see, that's a strap. We did see the connection Ooh. changing in Gabby's favor a little bit, but listen, that strap holding on to those wrists, and that if that would have been strapped up, that was going to be an easy win for Barbara. We definitely need Gabby. Gabby's going to have to be a little more offensive in this strap. Let's see if her lat power can kind of let let this um, let this thing get a little stretched out for her, and then in the favor of the powerful Brazilian. Two women, two female competitors here. Couldn't be um, more studly at what they're exactly doing. And then you think about it and how nice they both are and how gentle. And then you see up there, as soon as they say go, you see these ferocious beasts come out. And um, Definitely. Yeah, come on. I think that if you, if you love arm wrestling, you got to be rooting for the old dog here, right? Come on, Gabby. Don't let this, because at 22 years old, if you take over now, listen, There's Coach no Ray, if she takes years, over now, she's going to be years. talked about in the same breath as the great Travis Bajan. Wow. There's Gabby. Gabriela takes the first one. Wow. Hey, yeah. hey, Todd Hutching said it. She is the real side pressure king. She is the side, the real side pressure king. I don't believe we can doubt her at this moment. Let's see, she start again. Good start, but still loses the wrist. Gabby holds on to the pronator and so much power going sideways. Insane. And you got to imagine, too, the momentum from Gabby and the doubt that must be setting in in the young lady from Slovakia. The Brazilian champs, a 25, 30 plus time world champion. Crazy experience, newly married there, husband there giving some advice. How proud would you be if that was your wife, Coach Ray? That's amazing. Gabby is, Gabby right now just did what the GOAT needs to do, what the GOAT has to do. She's just solidifying herself in the history of arm wrestling as the greatest of all time. And very hard to imagine now that the 22-year-old are in her first huge one-on-one -on -one competition with this kind of praise in this big stage. Most likely offered her best opportunity in round one. So don't be surprised if the GOAT takes over from here. But it does look like she will need the strap to keep a hold of this tall, powerful Slovakian. Yeah, she can stay out of the strap. Barbora is the favorite, 110 percent. But it will be very hard, hard to hold on to Gabby. Significant advantage for the young lady from Slovakia here out of the strap. You can see how unbelievably uncomfortable Gabby is with the height of the webbing there from the young lady. They'll go into that set grip. Gabby will hope that that referee can get that elbow back a little bit to even up that webbing. Looks like it's a little better now. Like that, okay? Listen, man. Girls, girls, open and rotate straight to wrist. Like that. Don't move, okay? Don't move. Don't push. Wrist. Like that. Don't move your shoulders. Referee doing an outstanding job here starting this match neutral with no advantages on each point. Watch here. Can Gabby She's get out She's without up. last time? Easily could have caught a slip in the losing position. There's the hand again. She gets out a little good easier. Slip. Good, slip. good slip. Once again, Gabby right in cruise control here, understanding that her lat power is able to separate the big Slovakian here. I think that we're going to see Gabby here really take control. Let's see if Gabby's smart enough here to put a little gamesmanship into this. The queen, the goat, whatever you want to call her, it's time for her to start working on that brand value. Down. 
We're going to find out now exactly how close was match one now. The buckle going in the favor of the young Slovakian here. Doesn't need much, just needs to stop it early without her hand being so compromised by the Brazilian stud. It is probably. And we have seen Sarah Bachman took Gabby into those deep waters, and it was really close there. Really close if I, I, I did a podcast thinking that if I was there in Sarah's corner, that she may actually be the champ right this time. Gabby definitely showed us that she can be tested later in the rounds if you can keep the match a good 15, 20 seconds there. I think now... It's, we're kind of tired of rooting for the goat here. Let's go, young lady. Stop that match. Here we go. Can she stop this one surge from Gabby? Here it comes. Boom. Two nothing. So much power. Looks like as soon as Gabby gets the connection, there is nothing even close. Not even in this realm. But the crazy so part is how much trouble she has until she feels the lane in the proper place. The young lady is so close. You can just imagine here at how long is it going to take for this match really to be super lopsided in the other direction. Gabby says, that very well may happen, sir, but not today. Today, I'm up 2-0 and looking like I'm going to have to strap the buckle in my favor here for round three. Gabby's not one to really feel her opponent out. I'm pretty sure she's going to be devastating again. We're going in round number three. At this point, I believe our Boris only option is to get Gabby pinned without the strap if she gets the strap that's pretty much over like we saw that it was a, like it wasn't even a close difference it was insane difference but the crazy part is she still is taking control off center down to 10 o'clock as she loses her hand you can tell gabby's just one click away from hitting that pronator in a good spot she can really initiate all her side pressure and then so aggressive being a young gymnast here, you can see that explosive speed, the power, and it's the absolute just winning edge there that Gabby has. The young lady from Brazil obviously makes her country. L looks like Gabby proud. is so comfortable even without the strap. She's laughing and playing. Yeah, well, coach, sometimes you have to stop from crying there, kid. So let's see. I, there's no doubt. The young lady's hand is absolutely dominating out of the strap. You can see it. At, it was 8 o'clock, the first slip. That last slip a little bit better at 10 o'clock. Let's see if the young lady is poised enough to lean forward, stand up, and make it really, really hard. And listen, when you make it hard for your opponent to slip, there's a psychological bit of warfare there where you can kind of show your dominance on him. Doesn't always work out in the strap, but it's a great thing for your confidence to really take control out of the strap. So 80 kilo plus woman title. Gabby is the reigning champion right now. Very well defending her crown right now at 2 nil versus Barbora. Barbara, it's now or never, young lady. Here's the thing. Can you stay? Oh, no. Being super aggressive. Both outside. Not, not a good setting. Definitely. She'll have the buckle. She'll be a little, little in a worse position for a top roll, and that's what she needs to be. She needs to go harder. Like, she really needs to go harder. She needs to put it in a different gear at this point. If she can do that, Gabby all day. Yeah, just this one, it's that surge. That surge that, that Gabby brings once she's comfortable has to be stopped. Once it's stopped, we've seen Gabby kind of gas out as well. You got a feeling the young lady probably, maybe her arm would have some trouble, but I'm sure her spirit and her youth is ready for this match to go on a few more rounds. She just has to put the brakes on. And Gabby seems to be very, even though you could appear to think this is an easy match, there is a very aggressive side hit that's happening from Gabby. If that match, and we've seen Chan Shaw early in the match able to pin, and then once it gets stuck there at eight, nine o'clock, we have a whole different ball game. I believe Gabby has too much side pressure at this point. She, she can win from pretty much any position. She is the side pressure queen 100% right now. Round number three, Barbora needs to take this to keep herself alive in this match. If she can't, it's over. 
Super calm young lady, super calm. You may want to fire it up. I don't know who's in her corner, but now's the time to let her. Young lady, you must go crazy here with this tremendous opportunity. You have her, she's right there. Just focus and do not give up. Be prepared for that huge surge after the start. Gotta come back. Yep. She pulled. Ready? Go! Takes the hand. Here in a good position. Right there. That's, that's the pressure. position. This is the one. The Slovakians in this oh, game. Oh, so close. Listen. So close. Relax, young lady. Relax. You don't have to go crazy. One, two. Gabi is like, still ahead. She was pulling back. Barbora is still alive in this one. Two, one. Gabi definitely complaining as well too. Listen, she doesn't like the connection with the 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 height, the power, the hand size of the young lady. Listen, can you imagine? 22 years old, you are in the mix with the greatest in your sport. This young lady has a bright future. Definitely, and I believe she is already here. It's not. It's not. The question of when and where, it's already here. And even even if it doesn't turn out in her favor, she will learn a great lesson in this one. Gabby is starting to nerve, becoming a little nervous. You're so close to the victory, but yet so far. And you saw the advice from her husband, Vic. Hey, listen, babe, stop crying. Don't worry about what happened. Let's focus on round four. You got one more match to get this done. Here comes the monster gab. Do not listen to anything that monster Michael Todd is Mike's saying. Mike's like, can you, can you kings move? <laughs> it's, e it's either Mike or Devin. Always in, like, doesn't matter what kind of scenarios go. It can go in your favor. They're like, can you kings move? So we gonna go into round number four, two, one. Gabby is ahead, she just needs to get this one round. She's not looking comfortable. As much as she was laughing and playing around in round number two and round number two, at the start of round number three, it's all gone. That little point, joke that sometimes you laugh to keep from crying is an absolute reality right now. Listen, I don't know why, but if I'm watching an arm wrestling match immediately, no matter who I'm rooting for early, as soon as I see someone with an overwhelming lead, I start to root for the underdog. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go Slovakia. Wake up here. You may have the most important strength athlete at the youngest age in her career, 22 years old. Coach Ray, you are 37 years old. You still can't beat either one of these girls. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is It is the truth because Travis said it. I'm not going to fight him on it. Straight to the straps. Buckle on Gabby's hand. Let's see if she has enough side pressure not to play. Oh, well, there's just too to much hand. This. Too much hand. Look at the nonverbal communications from Gabby. She is very unsettled with this grip. She feels like the young lady's too high in her hand. Any sort of back pressure, you can see the connection changing. And look, the strap is very terribly applied to Gabby. She doesn't have a whole lot of her hand in there. The momentum has switched. Now it looks so bad, I'm starting to root for Gabby again. <laughs> I believe so. I believe it, it looks. Barbara looks very confident. Gabby looks so unconfident, uh, uncomfortable. She needs the king. I, th I, sh I think she needs the referee's grip. <laughs> Not only does she need the referee's grip, she needs that strap to be loosened because you can see there's a good half inch of height difference here. Barbara's up there. Her hand is all up in there. You see the crinkled up fingers of the Brazilian. Everything tells me that this match has switched. The momentum is in the Slavic's hands, no doubt. Why are we taking this strap off? Don't B, take this listen, strap off. no choice. If I'm Gabby, I'm taking that strap off immediately, repositioning the, the height of my hands. Great veteran move there. 
by the young lady from Brazil. Great battery move. So right now, we're gonna go to the referee's grip. Round number four. Two to one to Gabby's favor, but I feel like a pendulum has swung and it is on Barbora's side right now. She has the height advantage. She did very well with her top roll. It's pretty much losing the hand, but still containing her pronator. And let's see what these girls can do maybe in the last round of this match. Much better, much better. Set up here. Let's see. Let's see as they're getting a grip. Do they allow any movement in the strap? And you can see when Gabby places her hand down, when she's not happy, those knuckles are all crinkled up. She wants to open her hand and ask the referee for help. Very important. A lot of strategy happening in there. You, if you're Gabby, you've got to get some sort of hand in this trick. Look at the hand. Oh, my oh good control from Barbora. So close to the pin pad. Pins her. 2-2. Two, two. Travis, who do you root for at this point? Yeah, at this point, it's easy for me to see. I'm jumping on the Slavic bandwagon. Bar bar, let's go. I'm going to introduce her to my 22-year-old son, who's about to go to the NFL. They're going to make some super babies. Those two human beings get married, have three kids. I guarantee you the Bajan name will move, will go on and do great things for the rest of my life and my ancestors. And, and all future Bajans there. Let's go. And you can see it on Gabby's face. It is absolutely, she's, she's up there. The connection is horrible. She is, she, she might as well grab Vic. I'll tell you, Vic's shoulder to fingertips is exactly the same as the young 22 year old right here. This is a problem for every arm wrestler of the female persuasion. Barbar -bar looks like she is the real deal. And it took just two rounds for her to figure it out and to come back. And listen, we, Gabby is the John Brzezink of this whole women's arm wrestling thing. This is an amazing feat for a 22 year old athlete. Yeah, there's, there's nowhere higher to go at this point in female arm wrestling than Gabriela Vasconcelos. Barbora is doing a great job keeping it together. She looks very under control. She has taken control of this match. This is it. She wins this round. She is the best female arm wrestler on the planet right now. The strongest female arm wrestler. The Levon Saganashvili of female arm wrestling. There's no doubt about it. Oh, and you can see a little more excitement in there. A little more pep in her step here. Vic holding on to begging his wife. Listen, babe, you are the one. Show us right now. But listen, if you're watching this match right now, it doesn't look I, very close, coach. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Gabriela. I would love if she could pull this off. If she could get this done in an amazing fashion where it feels like there's no chances left. We have seen her before in the later rounds to kind of a little bit fade away. The power is there. Endurance, not quite there. But this is it. There's no holding back. You have, to, you have to be willing to break your arm at this point. You have to be willing to break your arm at this point to become or still be the 80 kilo plus East versus West champion. Also be recognized as the strongest female puller on the planet. I don't know if I'd go that far, Coach Ray, and break your arm. However, I do understand exactly what you're saying. They need a tremendous commitment from Gabby. But listen, the connection is the problem. Just okay. take a look at the height of the young lady from Slovakia. You can see the fingers every time that Gabby tries to make that fist. Her own wrist is bending back. It's really not that close at the very top. Shoulder! Please come there, okay? There. It's loose. This is too loose. Just like she did, just like she did. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, it's one, one. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Shoulder. Slovakia, Slovakia, shoulder. Like that. Center. Straight to the strap. Center. Round number five. Center. This is the moment of truth. Look at the hand and wrist. You can see Gabby's wrist being compromised even at the start. Any attempt for her 
to bring that hand off center or even to the center is causing her own hand to get buried back. Listen, it's a it's a wrap, Coach Ray. I'm not one to say that I know exactly what's going to happen, but I can tell you now, the young lady from Brazil is the rain is over for right now. Shoulder, shoulder, more shoulder, stop. It looks like that. She looks very uncomfortable. Barbora looks in full control. I believe every time they're still fighting, Barbora is still taking out of that hand and getting better position. Getting. All you have to do is you put a baseball in your hand, you grab it, you feel all comfortable. As soon as I hand you a softball, you understand how uncomfortable when the connection is with a bigger situation. This young lady's height, her hand size, the finger size, it's got the young lady from Brazil all disheveled. Unless something changes here, it looks like a full hand top roll right here, right to the pad. A little bit of a sticking point. Gabby not ready to arm wrestle. Gabby needs to get away from the table and get unhooked from that strap. If she starts this match, it's a wrap. The connection is already in favor of the Slovakian. She's ready. She feels it right here. What a great day for her. There's the stoppage. No, it's a wrap. I believe elbow foul. Elbow foul on Gabby. Yeah, she went over the pad. Too much hand control, Too Coach much Ray. hand control. Oh, it's not looking good. It's such a terrible feeling when everything starts slipping away from you. When you are in that control, you like we saw she was, you know, making fun and making jokes and feeling really great on table, and then it all kind of went downhill. Barbora is still in this match, 110% focused. How many reps, Coach Ray, does an arm wrestler that's losing their hand position, their sideways hit, how many reps do you have that are able to finish your opponent? We've seen it twice today. We've seen it with, we saw it with Corey West and we saw it with Ferret. We see it now with Gabriella. You have, and even Chance Shaw, you see a compromised hand. You're ready for that sideways hit. You think, oh, he can do or she can do that all day. But the truth is, you, can't. you don't have a great Absolutely. pronator. You can't. There's a you certain can't. finite number of reps before your body goes further than your hand. You're stuck in no man land there and we're seeing it for the past three rounds a surge from Gabriella but the dominant hand and wrist control from the young lady from Slovakia I can't see it changing anymore because there doesn't even seem to be any any hesitation in the slot now she understands the dominance and how difficult it's going to be for Gabby to finish her with her hand underneath she's very good at low climbing this match let's go Gabby hits to the side and straight to the pad we have a new world champion. And you can Barbora see. Bajcova from Slovakia is the reigning world WAF champion at super heavyweights. The reigning super heavyweight champion on East versus West. We see a lot of embrace right there. She is the girl. She is the female Levan at this point. Let's see if there's anyone else on this planet who can take her. You see what impressive emotion. match. Yeah, you see the emotion from the young lady and you understand. Oh, she was, like she was the sweetest thing in a, in a press conference. She's like, my, I told my mom I'm going to win, so I'm going to win. I told my friends I'm going to win, so I'm going to win. My mom called me. She says I'm going to win, so I'm going to win. And Gabby was trying to be, you know, just trying to play. And you can't. She is, she is sweet and she is the reigning super heavyweight champ of the world. Looking back at this match, the first two rounds looked like it was fully in Gabby's control. Right, but you she, see that hand a little outside the yes, shoulder, and you see yes, that surge, yeah. and you see the smile, you but you never also understand uh, that there's a finite number of those hits. For Gabby, it was two. After that, that thing stopped around 10 o'clock. You've seen a severe hand manipulation in the part of the Slovakian, and then just the overwhelming size, the leverage. Listen, for the next 10 years, it's a wrap. They better hope this chick decides to get in another sport, <laughs> take over <laughs> powerlifting, gymnastics, yeah. bobsledding. I don't know. It's very cold and it's muscle. very lonely to be on top. I feel like she's in the same position as Levan. We're going to go to Artem Taranenko with a post-match interview right now. Ladies, champion of the world. Wait a minute, I've been told to hold. 
We're going to do that again, guys. Give me one minute. I just got put on hold. Anna, Anna wait a minute, Anna. Anna, wait a moment. Just got to stop on the far side. We're going to do it again. Okay, let's try that again. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise it up and rip the roof off for our new champion of the world, Barbara Bajkova. An emotional Barbara there. What an incredible match for our ladies tonight. That was so intense. Hi, Barbara. Congratulations on your performance today. I know there's a lot of emotions going through your head right now, so tell me how you feel. What the fuck? <laughs> no, it's amazing, but... Tak možem po slovensky, tak... Mala som sen. Mala som sen, že to môžem dokázať. Ten sen bol včera a sme tu. Yeah, she said she had a dream. She was still dreaming yesterday. She... But right now, she is the champion of the world. The dream has come through, and she's the happiest person in the world right now. Well, we're all happy for you, Barbara. I'm going to let you go to go deal with your emotions right now. So good, lu uh, good luck in the future, and congratulations to you on your biggest win. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Barbara. Congratulations. One more time for Barbara.